Hello, my name is Simon, and this is the Retro News Roundup. To start this episode, how about a pretty rocking Kickstarter? Titled Amiga Power, the album with Attitude, it gives you the chance to bag a double CD full of remixed tunes from Amiga titles including Fantasy World Dizzy and Speedball 2. An £18 pledge will get you a digital copy, £27 a physical one. The Switch got a smorgasbord of retro releases last month. There was the usual arcade archive titles in the form of Ikari Warriors, Elevator Action and Armed F, as well as Neo Geo entry Baseball Stars 2. Another Johnny Turbo's arcade title also made an appearance, namely Joe and Mac Returns. Sega Ages also got in on the act with Game Ground and Alex Kidd in Miracle World. But then things got even more interesting with the additions of James Pond, Codename Robocod, Impossible Mission, Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, Final Fantasy VII and Cell Damage HD. There are a couple of multi-format titles that came out in March too. SNK 40th Anniversary Collection arrived on the Switch and PS4, whereas Toe Jam & Earl Back in the Groove funked onto those two systems as well as the Xbox One and Steam. Then to round off this section, website Good Old Games received ports of the original Diablo as well as Warcraft 1 and 2, and Jakido's Kintaro's Revenge arrived on Steam. Just one piece of news for this section, but it's that a device called the Spectranet was shown off online. It allows you to download specy games via the internet, which is pretty neat. Fans of retro gaming homebrew will not be disappointed with March's Hall of Titles. The ZX Spectrum received a Ninja Gardening Simulator, Moritz to the Moon, Dragonfire and Atlantis. Then there was a trio of Commodore 64 titles, Bruce Lee Return of Fury, Boulder Dash Senior and Age of Heroes. The Amiga also did very well last month with A Minor, Mod Surfer, Celtic Heart and Bridge Strike all being released on the system. Next, Burks 4 as well as Adventure Ponies galloped on the Atari XL and XE and the Amstrad CPC received two new titles, Scramble and Alcon. Then to round off things, Old Towers crumbled onto the Mega Drive Mojonian Tales unfolded onto the NES, and finally Stunt Car Racer flipped onto the BBC Master. First of this segment was that a build of the unreleased World Warrior for the Amiga was made available online. Second is that a prototype of the, admittedly eventually released, Fantastic Dizzy came out for the Mega Drive. And that's all there really is for this section this month. Three English language translations were released last month. Panorama Cotton on the Mega Drive, Burn Judo Warriors for the NES, and lastly, the SNES's Nishijin Pachinko 2. That's all for this month then, but as always, thanks so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you have a great day. You swine! What do you think you're doing?